If you need help from firefighters, Carmel firefighters are learning what's called rope rescue. Yeah, they're training for it, and it's specifically meant to save people from tall buildings. Uh, Katie Wisely has been looking into this for us, and uh, Katie, you're telling us this training, it's intense, and it requires <laughs> a lot of trust between these firefighters. Hey, good morning, ladies. That's right, a lot of trust. Most firefighters are going out of a six-story window or higher. It's a week-long class at the Wayne Township Training Tower and a new concept for a handful of Carmel firefighters. Now, rope rescue can be used on water, but also for high angle rescue. So, for example, saving a window washer from a high rise building. Advanced Rescue Solutions holds the training for different municipalities across the state. They set up what's called pick off scenarios. The firefighter will go out the window while relying on fellow crew members to lower them down. Then they'll get that person out of what they've fallen into and attach them to their harness and slowly get lowered down to the ground together. Now, it's not only physically demanding but also mentally from learning the systems understanding them and it's not just something you can learn in a week you have to practice this uh, after you're here you have to continue uh, keeping this fresh in your mind and it's physically one to go out the windows uh, it's also something that when you're heading out a window or out of a side of a building uh, it's that mental aspect you need to have trust in the system trust in the guys and girls that are that are physically you know learning and teaching and training you and putting you through these systems and having trust in, in the equipment that we have the firefighters in this video work and live together, and you'll notice they don't have masks on or able to social distance. But in Carmel, they are tested for COVID-19 on a weekly basis and only work with their specific shift. Carmel Fire spokesperson Tim Griffin says fire training is ever-changing, and it's not just about fighting fires. It's all aspects of rescue and safety. Katie Wisely, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook.